This is Wui on an Oculus Rift and a Razer Hydra. Um, the display works, of course, as you would expect. You can move around, you have the wide field of view, everything is, of course, in stereo. The Razer Hydra is mapped into space using these two cones, one for the left, one for the right hand. Uh, the cones just follow the input device and position orientation, and I have the typical Wui tools mapped to the buttons. So the top inner buttons will pick up space. It works ambidextrously, so you can just ratchet yourself through space like this. Uh, any kind of motion gets translated onto the world uh, with six degrees of freedom. If you press both buttons at the same time, you can zoom in by moving your hands apart. You can zoom out by pushing your hands together. The lower inner buttons are mapped to UI functionality. If you press that, you can bring up a menu. Uh, you can also interact with dialogues. So here I can make the surface a bit transparent of the globe. I can bring in the inner core. If you point at the title bar, the usual thing, you can move the dialogues around just like normal. Um, I can also bring in, oh, I didn't want the inner core, I wanted the outer core. Hang on. Uh, show outer core. Show inner core. Yeah, this needs to be synchronized. Okay. So then we bring in an earthquake data set. Here we go. And now we can go to my favorite spot of the globe to really see all these earthquakes in glorious 3D. Uh, this year is, let me get the laser pointer. Laser pointer. Uh, this here is uh, New Zealand, there's Australia here, and up here we have the Tonga Trench. Um, and if we go down here you can really see the nice shape of that subduction zone with all the earthquakes uh, drawn at their true position uh, in length, longitude, latitude and depth. So we have these clusters of quakes that we can interact with. So now the, uh, the rest of the interaction works just like normal. Uh, interaction is centered around the focus point. so. If I bring in a tool to query my earthquakes, I can just go in here and if I want to know information about this purple guy, click on that and I get the information of the 7.7 .7 from 2002. Uh, if I click on, let's see, this guy right here, then that's a 5.6 from 1970 and so forth. In the same way, uh, we can, let's see, in the same way we can uh, measure distances and positions. Uh, I'm just going to make an annotation tool, here we go. And so now I can measure the position of an earthquake. You notice how this little marker, which gives me GPS coordinates, just snaps to the closest earthquake. So I can just very easily go to one of those guys and leave a marker there. I can measure distances in just the same way, one marker. And then I can stretch out this measurement rubber band, which is now 274 kilometers. So overall, the rift works, uh, works very well. The head tracking is very snappy. Uh, it's very nicely matched to, to what you would see. Uh, the resolution is a little bit low for serious work, so I had to crank up the font sizes to make them readable, but it's okay. The optics, of course, are great. Um, I have everything nicely in focus. Nothing is blurry. I can see all the way around. The field of view, of course, is fantastic. Uh, the only downside is, and it's an unexpected downside, that because I don't see my hands, I'm not used to that coming from projected VR background. Uh, even though you have the cones where the hydra is, it's really hard to use your hand and pick up things or type on the keyboard. So in order to get around that, um, I figured out it would be easy to just um, uh, bring in a 3D video from the Kinect. So here I can actually see my hands, they are exactly where I think they would be. I can type on the keyboard, I can touch the base station, that's my mouse over here. So I can you know, find my way around, pick up things that are on my desk and so forth. So this makes it uh, makes it a little bit easier uh, to to well to just live while having the having the rift on. Now this is also a good point, a good opportunity to point out the some properties of the Razer Hydra. Uh, you notice that now the Hydra is represented by the grey cone and also by the actual 3D video of the Hydra handle. And the way I configured it is that the grey cone sticks out of the front of the handle a little bit. So this is how it's supposed to be. And you see that as I move around, that generally follows OK. But you also notice that if I move away from it, the cone starts disconnecting from the handle, especially when I move over here to the left where it gets really bad. So this is uh, the upshot of the Razer Hydra being an electromagnetic tracking system, which are locally precise in the sense that if I move from any current position, you know, one inch to the right, one inch up, one inch to the front, the cone does pretty much the same thing, but it's not globally precise, depending on where I am, the position where my hand actually is and the position where my razor thinks, where my hydra thinks the hand is, can be significantly offset. Here it's about four inches, can get worse than that. And additionally, you notice as I move the handles around, the right 
cone stays pretty much where it should be now, just flipped a bit, but the left one is all over the place. So I think there's something wrong with the antennas in the left handle, which is of course really annoying. It's very hard to, to correct for these kind of things. So now this is not really a showstopper, it's just something to be aware of, which is why I normally recommend using the Hydra not as an absolute positioning device, but as a relative one. But here, when I'm showing the 3D video, uh, it gets kind of distracting if I were to have the video on while using the software, I would always have to you know, make sure that I'm looking at the cone and not at my actual hand. This is definitely um, something to be aware of. There's not really a way to fix it though, it's just the way it is. I mean, it's not a high precision device after all. Uh, but this is the basics. Um, that's just Rui working on the Rift using the normal user interface. Uh, just using the Earthquake Viewer application right now to show some of the basics uh, more to come later.